what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here since about friday the 13th in this video here again today and going over another idea that i think could still work as it pertains to where they could go if victor miller and sean s cunningham actually came together and were to give fans what they want which would be a movie surrounding adult jason Voorhees with his hockey mask and not sh and not victor off doing his own thing of what he has the rights to do without the adult jason or sean being stuck not being able to do anything without victor i wanted to talk about Corey Feldman who is the OG Tommy Jarvis and some of his thoughts that he's talked about over the over the past decade I would say he's talked about this idea of Tommy Jarvis returning to battle Jason Voorhees in a versus movie you know, Jason versus Jarvis now a lot of people would prefer from what poll I put out I guess would prefer to just see them do a remake but what if that remake didn't include hockey mask adult jason would you be okay with just getting another remake and then it's just basically retelling pamela's story again uh you could have young jason in it i guess if victor miller is the only one involved in it in that regard because he would have rights to that but when it comes to this idea that Corey feldman has had he has stated that he hoped to do Jason versus Jarvis many years ago prior to I guess them doing the 2009 movie that we got but Platinum Dunes and whoever else was involved with the IP at the time decided against it after promising him this now these are his words I'll leave a link to this article in the description uh, some of this could have just of course be him remembering things a little bit more inaccurately or embellishing on certain things like the fact that they promised him this so like he said they were talking about doing like an H2O style film, but that got scrapped for the 2009 film that we now have. So he thinks bringing in other survivors, which was another idea that I brought up. He thinks that if they were to bring in other survivors, that would be too much. And he would just want to do something that is similar to Halloween 2018. Uh, he did mention that the writer for for the Friday the 13th, the final chapter and himself have actually wrote written up a treatment for this concept of jason versus jarvis and then he argued that jamie lee curtis has been brought back for a legacy sequel twice now or i guess you could say more more than twice at this point and he all he wants is just one tommy legacy sequel he thinks that if if all these other stars are getting their their uh revamps then why can't he get one now i'm not saying that Corey feldman isn't right to some degree as much as i think that even if tommy jarvis was brought back i don't think they would bring you back i don't think they would bring Corey feldman back i think they would go out of course to get the get the tommy from part six jason lives so admittedly tommy is to jason what Lori is to michael or i guess what you could say sydney is to the ghost face costume what nancy is to freddie what andy is to chucky that type of thing but tommy got discarded after part six and we haven't heard much about him um and like, like i just mentioned we already have a tv series of chucky where we're seeing chucky battling his oldest nemesis andy still all these years later so i don't see why something like this couldn't still work today i think jason versus jarvis could work i do disagree with him on the fact of not bringing in other survivors i think something like that at this stage would probably be better, more beneficial if you brought in one of the other more memorable legacy stars, I could say, or characters at this point, who I think is Tina. Outside of Tommy, I think the other most memorable star is Tina. At least the ones that people are talking about constantly for what I'm seeing these days. Uh, honestly, I, I would say that Tina has a slight advantage over what I tend to see online. But Tommy himself, again, he was the dominant final boy uh, or final character for a section of this series for at least three movies played by different actors but jason and tommy they have a they have a rivalry and i think you could explore something like that in a legacy sequel that is picking up and i'll, I'll start from the bottom what you could do because we don't know what happened to this character after part six at least how it's been depicted on screen we haven't seen anything depicted on screen that tells us what happened to tommy after part six you could explore his relationship with megan where did they end up uh, and we could find out that tommy and megan actually moved away from crystal lake tommy and megan while moving away we're trying to forget about jason because he was convinced he had killed him and that jason was dead he's at the bottom of the ocean he's not going to hurt anyone anymore but as they have moved away tommy somehow learned about all the things that transpired in part seven with tina he learned about what tra transpired in part eight with new york he learned about what happened in jason goes to hell he's also aware let's throw this in and make it canon he's aware of the events of freddy versus jason so you could do something set like maybe a couple of years many years after 
Freddy vs. Jason, still in the late 2000s, where you bring in Tommy Jarvis, who is going back to Crystal Lake. We can find out that he still has been obsessed with wanting to kill Jason ever since he found out that his plan at the end of part six did not work out. It led to his relationship with Megan crumbling. Um, and you could explore, of course, some some mentality within him that is just convinced that he cannot move on from what happened to him when he was a little kid unless this monster that he feels has been plaguing him for all these years is finally put to bed now i know of course people are gonna say oh that sounds just like halloween 2018 well again this treatment that they're talking about has apparently been ready to go for over 10 years so while it might come off as a ripoff, I still think this is a concept that could work. And I think it would even be better if you evened it out by not just having it be Jason and Jarvis. Throw in Tina. Have Tina jump in. And, of course, you could bring back a different actor to play, to play Tina. Uh, explore that a little bit. Have a tag team type of scenario go on. I wouldn't have them be the main focus as much as they would be the two characters that end up showing up to help these new group of, group of characters who are being tormented by Jason at Camp Crystal Lake all these years later after freddy versus jason this could be in a way i guess for a lot of people an unofficial freddy versus jason sequel while not directly associated with it it's set after the events of that movie kind of like i guess how you could say jason x is set after the events of freddy versus jason but maybe you'll have a little nod to freddy too just to acknowledge that it's set after freddy versus jason i think jason versus jarvis is a concept that could still work i know many people would probably be on board with that i think the actor himself that plays tommy in part six has been in these never hike alone fan films which i think have been great so far but you know the reception and the audience you can pull in from doing that type of event in a canon mainstream friday 13 movie i think could still be something that is very successful at the box office if done right you know you have these people that are starred for jason contact they'll go out and see something like this i think it could work and i think people will be more open to this than having another remake happen that doesn't have adult jason it's doing pamela's story all over again and then just having countless movies without adult hockey match jason but of course this will rely on those two coming together and agreeing on something for the fans. But let me know what you guys think about that concept down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.